Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile when with I'm me, Clutch Gander the Gamer, before. and our not yet ready witch. But let us get ready because today we've made some changes, and we're going to be talking about them as we continue on our mainline quest to find the Steph Purity, which maybe might be here in the desecrated chamber of innocence. So, what are we look? What are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about how I leveled up one level off screen. I was looking, I was half looking, half grinding for stuff. I found a few things I like. I found some rings, I found some weapons, I found... I oh, I found, I found those many things. You see, I have on me two new rings as well as a new wand in my hand, which, after crafting and pick, after picking it up and crafting it a little bit, is actually better than my obliteration. So that's pretty nice. So now I have two non-unique wands equipped in my hands for my, to do, to do, deal more damage with my main attacks than to not. Uh, the new rings, they're kind of nice. They helped my uh, elemental resistance quite a bit, even my chaos resistance, I think. Moonstone Ring looks pretty nice. Gives me some more damage and energy shield. And then this one, okay, so it has the evasion, like I was trying to roll a little bit on this ring, but maybe we'll get back to having evasion on both rings later on. But either way, look at that fire resistance. Fire resistance on both rings. Over 50 on one of them? Jeez Louise. We're not going to be hurting format fire damage anymore. Which will be a good thing coming up. Uh, so obliteration is now in my offhand. This weapon slot. So if I ever decide I want to switch over to using my offhand, if I ever get my setup the way I wanted to with... Uh, Thinking where my offhand would be a little bit more defensible than my attacking hands will be, then I'll swap over to that and I'll have, as you can see, I have moved Spell Slinger over to my new wand. This is the new wand. Deals cold damage, physical damage, spell damage, cast damage. But for my offhand, I have uh, put on this very nice Val Recharge Discipline, uh, Val Discipline gem, which should basically re re regen all my energy shield whenever I use the Val version of Discipline, whenever it has enough charges built up. But then I just swap back if I want to use Spell Slinger again, I re-reserve it. Oops. And because I took Spell Slinger out of my helmet, that freed up some room for these five zombies I now have. Ready, or now four. Let me raise another zombie. So I socket them together with a little bit of minion life, a little bit of meat shield. So they're taking more damage for, for me than not. They're, they're defending me. They're my zombie defenders. So very nice, very nice of them to be my zombie defenders. See, look at that, they taunted that guy away from me. I can just stand back and pummel him in the back without him having, without worrying about him attacking me. Very nice, very nice. That's what Meat Shield would do for you. The Stone Golem does that a little bit, but the Stone Golem is only one creature. Now I have the Stone Golem and five zombies taunting my enemies for me. So, dealing with a big group of monsters or enemies will be a lot easier to deal with by running past them and shooting back at them. So long as my zombies are attacking them. Of course, also my zombies are supposed to stay nearby me because the meat shield makes them defensive, makes them like to stick by me. The Brolem, as you can see, likes to do his own thing. And the Holy Relic, of course, the Holy Relic 
should help keep my zombies alive more than more than I can. Because the Holy Rock's aura does the Nova does give uh, more regeneration to minions like the golem and the zombies than the does to me. So it should help with their survivability as well. And of course with this new wand in hand, how much damage am I dealing? About 13 to 14, 15,000. Alright. Okay, 13,000 right now. I thought I saw 15,000 earlier. Or 14 even. But either way, very, very nice. Very nice amounts of damage being dealt. Especially for this part of the game and... I mean, you gotta consider, I've also got Vortex and Flame Wall going on. Flame Wall not only increases my, the attack power of my projectile wand attacks when it goes through them with the added fire damage and the, the Flame Wall will be doing damage in the zone, in the circle it's engulfing them in. Oh, hello. Avarius, the reassembled, he's returned. Yes, Katava seems to have some way of zombifying people. I don't know why or how, but he can. Because even back in the Ravage Square, we could fight we could fight the uh, rep, the rotten matriarch. When I'm ready and not So it's really crazy whenever you're a Templar and you fight that character. You can fight her just as the flame matriarch when you first get to the square. Kill her. And the Templar will say something about how she demeans newbies the Templars no longer and then you can after the torch courts and the is it the ravage square then too but uh the torch square whatever the square happens to the square after you destroy the feet innocence and Katava rises uh, you can fight the Matriarch again as the reanimated Matriarch, and the Templar will say something again when you defeat her again. And then yet again, you can return here in Act 10 to the Ravage Square in Oraf. And the Rotten Matriarch will have risen. And I believe the Templar does say one more last thing to her as she dies once again for good. That's really kind of, uh, strange. Yeah, you get to fight that creature three times, that person three times. Once when they're alive and two times as zombies. Well, with the Staff of Purity, we can now return to Bannon. But of course, let us use our skill point that I had from the level up. Yes, indeed. Continue with that mana and Ender Shield. That will always be good. Now, but before we talk to Baden, does anyone else have Hello anything there, to say Exxon. about yes. the staff of purity that we've gotten for him? Freedom comes. To Freedom comes. Yes, Deciding we hope so. <laughs> nope. Only Bannon has something new to say at this moment. And at this moment, we give it to Bannon. I fear I have not been entirely honest with you. Yeah, Sin kind of told us. While it is true that this staff can forge a path for us through Kitava's horns. It has the ability to revitalize innocence into waking fully. And that is where the staff's true power resides. Ah. In this act, I will become his host in the fullest sense. And together, he and his brother Sin will be able to ally with you against the forces of darkness. I bid you farewell, exile. For where my spirit is set to travel, there is no return. Win this battle. Defeat Kitava. Free our people. <sighs> Alrighty then. Innocence reborn. I am reborn. A new god in a troubled land. Brother. You have seen better days, I am sure, but for now you must rouse yourself. We have work to do. If ever you wish to make right the wrongs of your past, help me now. As once I asked you in the early days of mankind, do this for me, and I shall consider our quarrel to be at its end. No, do battle anointed exile. 
Shadow, my brother and I will aid you. And since the universe conspires for you to be the savior of our world on this day. Hey, all right, Witchy. You're... Savior, savior, savior. It's like where you say Fudo. Yes. Ignore that little sound you just heard. Goodbye. Oh, no, Lonnie, she liked Bannon. Lily, she liked Bannon. Whalem, he didn't really like Bannon too much. But what did they have to say about Bannon? Bannon was a man now, whom I greatly innocence. admired, possibly even loved. My heart is grieved to see him depart from us and journey to the home of Hinecorda. Yet, he sacrificed himself so that we might live and stood true to his convictions. This god, this born-again innocence, fills me with unease. Though he appears repentant of his past transgressions, I do not believe he should be forgiven, nor that he should tread this earth any longer than is required. Aha uh -huh, said she's going to give us a reward for killing Bannon. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> reviving we do innocence. This for free. Good tidings to you. Oh, Bannon, I'd stake my bets on being a mighty fine demon in the sack. Can't go wrong with a man in uniform. Only now. He's gone and transformed into that pesky god of light. I gotta believe that the man is still in there somewhere, but finding my way into his bedsheets at this stage is proving more difficult than I first thought. Don't seem to be anything that'll budge him from wherever he's hiding. Not even an enrapturing role in the hay with this future pirate queen. Seems to me that by letting old innocence take him over completely, it's like a leech sucking the life right out of him. He's gonna lose out on all them lusty joys of this world, and that ain't something I'd ever think fondly about. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Good Willie. to see you still kicking. Alrighty. Yes. Greetings. And that would seem to be everything everyone has to say about today themselves today. Besides me, of course. Let me talk about me. Me, 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 me. No, I'm kidding. Head to the Ravage Square, and of course, where Katava's horns blocked the path to the canal, was right over here, where Innocence has now come. Come to, come to aid us. Wrong and corruption shall not impede the path of purity. Okay, buddy. Hiya! Good job, buddy. You fired a light, ray of light. Yes, yes. The universe conspires. Which he will be the hero in our Order of Chaos today. So, these are the canals. Being used nowadays by the Katafa Zealots to funnel as much food as possible through the riverways. On riverboats, I imagine. Or rafts, or whatever they can stick together. In order to get food to Katafa's big old gut. Even faster than he thought possible. Or at least then they thought possible. I still think Katava's a little weird. He, according to Otala's legends, he ate all the fish in the sea, but he did not drink any of the water. That's weird. It also would have been a much faster way to get all the fish in the sea to dr drink all the water, because as he was, as there was less and less water, and the water was pulling the fish in, it would have pulled the fish into his mouth better. But I guess he's not a god that likes water. He'll use water, but he's not a fan of drinking water. I can understand that. Water can be a tad tasteless. Though I imagine ocean water and everything is not that exactly all that tasteless. Although, considering what we put in the water nowadays, it's gonna be pretty piss poor drink. I need more Literally. Water. Oh yeah, I put Withering Setback on my, uh, movement. So which he now moves a little bit faster, does a little bit more chaos damage to enemies nearby her. So that's very nice. Yeah, I also put a cast and damage the uh, steel skin and frost shield over onto my defensive offhand set. See if we'll. Like I said, I want to see if using that offhand as a more defensive option later on in the game would be very handy. I hope. And like I've said before, of course, there's not a lot of experience I have with the end game. I've hardly done anything in it. 
Let's see. Penetrate Lightning Res, but give me additional weapons. Have 15% more max life, have additional jewelry. Do not grant flash charges, but contain additional rare armor. Glad. Immune to cold damage, that's not going to be good for me, because now I'm doing about 700 cold damage. Uh, always critical strike, uh, that's not good. But I would like, I think, to pop some of these in a specific way to where I can get as many chests as I can, get as many monsters, uh, druids or whatnot as I can, and still get as many chests like the yellow chests as I when can. When I'm ready and not before. Oh, I missed that one, of course. And uh, actually, Rog, he's looking into the, the chalice of the order. Or the chalice, whatever, the knights. Or is that the sudden knights? Well, now I don't know. <laughs> Would have helped if I talked to Rog a little bit to uh, refresh my memory. Stay safe. Hey, alright, stay safe. That Stay's is the uh, order of the chalice, yes. The temple like the monsters. Water. That we're excavating for, which is uh, excava excavation uh, expedition mechanic. That's it. <laughs> I knew there's. I knew there were words. There's always words. There's never not going to be words. I think. In the beginning, there was silence. Now there is not silence. Oh, there's another thing over here, by the canal, in here in the canals, as we can see on the map. Another little cultist talking point. Come on, die, stupid monster. Stop storming them. Ooh, one of the wicker men. See, those wicker men are especially why I want to have more fire resistance than, than not. Because if you run into about ten wicker men, you're burning to death very fast. Ah, more pamphlets. This is how it shall end. Katavo will rise, and a great cloud of black smoke will cover the sky. The glorious smell of cooking flesh shall entice even the most ardent of unbelievers to faith. And together we will celebrate and eat at Katava's tail. The Holy Book of Hunger by High Priest Utala. And a little bit of a psychopath. You know, I'm pretty sure even smoking flesh does have a different smell to it that causes people to not exactly want to eat it. Not unless you're starving them out. Which I assume is another thing the cultists are doing here. I assume they've destroyed the farms and chopped down all the boats that are bringing uh, goods to Rick, to Oriaf and just not a lot of trade and food production going on, I imagine. This city is literally under siege from Katava and his ilk. His kind, his cult. I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense for... You know, because, uh... When I'm ready, the way I see it, they, the original... do-girders of this revolution that brought Katava to the to the forefront of the game, Utala and, and others like him, they were imprisoned for so long they don't really know anything else. Like they were born to the darkness and we merely adopted it. As Bane says. But uh Stuff like this goes so wry so easily when stuff happens like this so drastically because I mean, look at what happened to France back in the 1800s. Yeah, 1800. Just before 1800. Because I've watched the, uh, and I'm gonna shout out another YouTube channel, uh, History Oversimplified. But, uh, I watched those, the two-parter of the French Revolution. Man, that was horrible. It literally was, just like uh, Tale of Two Cities, and I, I mentioned Bane for a reason. 
it's a uh, because uh, the Dark Knight Rises is kind of based. They base some of their ideas for Bane and the revolution that happens inside of Gotham with uh, the League of Shadows taking over based on the Tale of Two Cities, which is based on the French Revolution. And the absolute paranoia and you walk through the destruction of and, and into the betrayal of death and itself. sickness that I took over took over everybody. I mean, it was... I guess there's a reason why books like 1984 get written, but... I mean, there's reasons why there's societies sometimes that turn against everyone and it makes no sense that it doesn't make sense to me anyways but I need more mana. they just want to turn against everyone and kind of basically become nihilistic of everything else same way Kefka did in Final Fantasy 6 just kind of like the belief that no one else can be good because they're making things bad that you can't be good because they're being bad. Which is... I hate that kind of nihilism. And I know it's a little prevalent even nowadays in America here. And sad. We got all these secret... secret... not secret but organizational stuff going on that's kind of reflecting the same kind of policies that happens in those kind of societies and it sucks to hell. It's supposed to be the land of the free, the brave, the proud. And a lot of us try to be, but I'm ready, I'm not enough of us, before. it seems. Just like uh, I was talking about how Katava has the city under siege of Oriath, and like the League of Shadows had Gotham under siege in Batman Rises, the secret courts and whoever the guy was that was leading the secret courts for so long in France Revolution, I mean it wasn't just Napoleon, Napoleon didn't just work for the army, he had to fight the secret courts as well in, in France itself in order to take over and become Emperor of France. And that's kind of why in Hamilton, the line is Thomas Jefferson's trying to get Washington to ally with the revolutionaries in the French Revolution, but George Washington's like, their people are rioting. And it's hard to tell the difference, it seems, between riot riding people and revolutionaries to the point where you can't even pick a side. And it sucks when that happens. It, ha it happens sometimes in murder mysteries, I feel. Real life murder mysteries to where there was one thing I was watching of Detective uh, Ken... What's his name? Kendall. Kenson. Kennington. Damn, I forgot his name. But he was a big-time Colorado Springs investigator back in the 90s and 80s or whatnot. And there was this one case he had where a, a girlfriend heard some noise on her porch and opened his door to her boyfriend coming in the door, staggering into the doorway, bleeding from his chest and just bleeding all over the place. And she's freaking out and crying over him. And he's bleeding out and dying and she's trying to get help. And he ends up dying. But the investigator, he ends up naming the girlfriend's father and one of his friends, the killers of the boyfriend. And the girlfriend decides, well, no, I don't care if they did kill him or not. I'm, I'm choosing family over justice for my boyfriend. So that's what she decided to do. And so you couldn't really get a conclusion of that case. Couldn't, could put, couldn't put the murderers away. Couldn't put the 
I mean, it was sick the way the father was trying to en enlist his daughter to be with a friend of his. Like, ever since she was little, it's like he was grooming her for him. I hate that kind of stuff. I mean, not a lot of that happens here in, or in Orath or anything. Maybe. I mean, there are a lot of nobles that were living in this land. And who knows, maybe even, even in, back in the internal empire days, there was stuff was going on, and probably in the Volge days too, because, like, he had Chittis with his harem of women that he would pass off to his generals and thaumaturgists, like, like, uh, Diala. But yes, once we reach the end of this area called the Feeding Trial, we can find a crafting recipe, which I already have unlocked, and we can talk to Sin and Innocence here at the end, up onto this, this gangway. Is it. It all comes it, this down is it? This, moment to this is the put moment? An to We're Go gonna Alexa. put an end to the Ravenous Together, One. We will save humankind. Yes, let us save humankind at the Altar of Hunger. And Katava is waiting. Katava is, of course, completely free of any stone seals, so he has all his attacks ready. Like he, but like he had in the last battle we had with him. But he also has a few more attacks. He will, of course, sweep his arms side to side. He has a laser he fires from his forehead now. He does fire it only once, but sometimes later on, especially later on in the fight, he will fire it twice. He has flame breath, of all things. Why he has flame breath, I'll never know. He does like to put his hand into the ground to summon that uh, degen pool. Ouch. One moment, while I reach around my computer. Oh, and with Sin and Innocence helping, they can fire their their energy lasers at, at Katava to bring out his heart. So we don't need the Staff of Purity or the I need more mana. Staff of Innocence or whatever it was using we were using last time to open up Katava's heart and bring out his, uh, his chest and bring out his heart. Oh, but now that they've attacked them once with their beams, Katava grabs one of them. He will randomly either grab Sin or Innocence. And we have to fight Katava with the other brother until we free the trapped brother. Uh, we will see a new move from Katava, besides the Flame Breath and the X Laser. We will also see different versions of that Flame Breath, I believe. Oh, there we go. We just freed Sin. Oh, and as you can tell, he's obviously... Oh boy, here's a new move. He spreads his arms wide and summons X sigils all over the ground. As long as you're not standing on one of those sigils, you will be fine because he causes a massive explosion on those sigils. He also releases a red ball, which I've been calling Armageddon Brand for a while, but I just found out the other day that Armageddon Brand is not like that at all. But it's very... It seems like a brand, the skill Katava uses to make that ball that fires down those lasers at the ground. It acts like a brand. It doesn't have to be actually branded to you, it just sits there in the air, but... So I, I've been calling it a brand all this time, and hopefully maybe someday they'll name it. Give us a skill version. Uh, give a human skill version of it, and let us use that skill. That right there. Now he's grabbed Innocence after we've beaten up on his heart two times. Uh, Katapa's down to less than a third of his life. Pretty nice. Oh, double, double laser. Double laser in the sky on the ground. Oh boy, sweeping arm. I believe now is the only time in the fight Katava will have the ability to use his big flame breath. What he will do is he will, when he uses the big sweeping flame breath, he will, like, say, reach over here, open his mouth, and just breathe fire and just sweep it all across the the arena, like this, up until 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I was, okay. It's at the... And there is a safe place for to stand during that flame breath. And it is apparently at the beginning of that flame breath. Because he doesn't turn all the way to the left or all the way to the right. To start his attack. He only turns all the way when he finishes the attack. And of course you can see summoning heralds to fight with him. Trying to beat us down with some little minions jumping at us. But yes, Katava's body has no health. Only thing left is his heart. And the shamans and champions he summons to protect him. With Katava's heart defeated... Ka Yes. And that is Sin. Uh, that is Sin and Innocence defeating Katava by blowing up his heart with their Kamehameha Blast. Why am I getting that here? That is a crappy, unique item. But yes, also now we get uh, item drops from killing Katava here in Act 10. And if we just really quick want to go back to town... See what everyone has to say about us defeating By Katava. The light of Ramako, you did yes, it. we did it. You, we immortal, a mortal, have crossed the threshold between God and man and struck, struck the, the ravenous, ravenous one, asunder. one asunder. I'd mm. always held out hope that you would succeed, but at night I would stay awake worrying that perhaps that hope was a foolish dream. But you've done it. Oh, you foolish you fool! No I'm more an exile, than a dream. My friend, I honor you. And I'm certain the rest of the world will honor you as well. Oh, she also said, please, I was saving this for something special, but you deserve it. For freedom. Innocence. You've seen how, don't you? Little brother. Please forgive me. It's as if I have been dreaming the most horrid nightmare. And now, at last, the haze of sleep lifts from my eyes. My really? vision is clear. Katava was affecting him oh, so Forgive me. It is as true now as it was when we began. You and I are of the same flesh, cleaved from the same womb. You ask for my forgiveness. I give it to you freely. But the things I've done, the countless millions I've murdered. There will be time for all of that later. But for now, your people need you. Oriath needs you. No, I cannot remain here amongst these ruins, amongst the corpses of my own making. These people, they need you, brother, and your hero. Your hero. Not me. Your then hero. What? Where will you go? What will you do? Isolation. I shall go south, as far south as one can travel in such a fleshly form. Things I must think on. The redemption I need plan. If my conscience decides I am worthy of such a gift. You would seek forgiveness in the ice at the bottom of the world. I would. Should you let me? Go. Seek out that which you need. Find who you are. Make pilgrimage. Journey on your path, brother. Only return to us one day. Thank you, one day. brother. <laughs> one day. This you is have heard thing. my admission of guilt and my plea for forgiveness. If I sense in the glowing embers of your eyes that you will be glad to be rid of me. I don't blame you, mortal. Nor do I begrudge you for your continual anger. The sins I have committed, although bad enough, are made worse by the lens of pride I once viewed this world through. Yeah, that's why it's most deadly of sin. Judgment. Ironic. And though I wish never to return from my banishment, I have made a promise to sin that I shall one day rejoin this world. But until that day, I will remain in the furthest south, in a place of ice and ash, ice and ash. of blistering seas and abysmal storms. Abysmal storms, that sounds nice. I shall nice. meditate on my wrongdoings, until a way of That's making one ends to the millions of lives I have murdered and ruined reveals itself to me. Well, it's a plan, I guess. Hello. 
Anybody Freedom have comes. anything to say, interestingly? Thank the sea! That bloody sea. sword is gone from our world! Then he never drank. <laughs> Good. Can't tell you how many times I've heard them Karui savages gibbering in fear over that cannibal god. And of course, there's a... Oh, all this horror to account for as well. I don't think there's a man, woman, or child in the world that won't be praising your name tonight over a glass of their finest grog. Speaking of which, where's a man to go to find a little fire water around these parts? Put some oil on fire and light it up. Fair you won the day. But you look more than frazzled, witch. Might be time to bury your head in some forbidden occult books for a while. Or whatever it is you do for fun. I know folks like yeah, us aren't suited to rebuilding efforts and honest work. Just say the word and we'll sail on out of here. <laughs> Time and tide wait for no We man. were run from responsibility of... Good day. Ah, here we go. I knew everything would turn out all right. I had faith in you the entire time. Ah, yes, of course. And we had hope in ourselves the entire Do time, too. you see that? God is here. Yeah, that's him. That, that's him in incarnate. incarnate. What's he doing with his brother? Has he somehow reconciled with the original evil? I I'm so very confused right now. <laughs> Poor girl. Until next time. But, just in case, was there anything else Sin was saying there at the end? He was saying something. It's over. Yes. We emerge victorious. It was always a fool's errand, yet somehow your courage has carried us through. That's our courage. I congratulate you, my friend. Your world may have exiled you, but there will always be a place for you at my table. Oh, okay. You have given humanity a fighting Come chance. Come and meet with you, good friend, Sin. Though darkness still covers the face of the earth. Oh, Witchy, I'm so happy to see you again. You must die. The insatiable appetite of Kitava has been ruined. And you, you are no exile. <laughs> Why, you are a hero worthy of praise. May your legend live on into eternity. Come, let us return to the others. They will be needing as many hands as possible for cleaning up this city. Oh, I think we were going to run away. <laughs> run, flee, run. Oh, it takes us to the docks. Okay. That is not what used to happen before, so that's why I returned to town a little bit before saying that. But anyways. Good tidings to you. Now we will run away from Oryoth and never to return because we are not going to help with the cleanup process whatsoever. No siree. But now... Maybe a year later or so, we have a... Witchy? Uh, we are here in this little home, this little shack. That's nice. We have a home now, somewhere in the Kuri Shores. Nice of them to take us in. Nice of them to take in just about everyone, because... A lot of the masters and the expeditions and the leaders and whatnot, they have all ended up here. Trying to rebuild. Trying to rebuild their new society, as we will find out from Lily Roth. That Kirak is a mighty convincing salesman. I spent so much of my life voyaging across the briny deep, looting and pillaging. I never thought I'd end up working as a naval officer for the Citizen Vanguard. Naval officer, They're you? Forgiving my pirating crimes in exchange for helping to build this town, as well as providing trade and transport. It'll be a quiet life, but rewarding in its own way. I'd rather be a seafarer than a foot soldier. Hmm, okay. And yes, we can now still pur purchase any gems we like from Time Lily. Tide, wait for no man. But yes, people are rebuilding here on this island. And I do not believe we will get to see much of this progress anymore until Path of Exile 2 is released. I have seen some things that lead me to believe we do we do kind of start here, or start near here, or we return here in some fashion later on in the game, in the game of uh, Path of Exile 2. But inside this cave is where we will find the mainstay of our, uh, the end game of the game. Nice little hole in the wall. Whoops. Okay. Uh, this is the vault, a battle pass of sorts to 
that opens up when you pay some money to get some rewards from a vault. You'll find the various masters oh, here. Something. Like Nico, June, uh, Cassia, Alva, Einhar, yes. Prepared for the we'll find them all here. What's these notes boards? Uh, this is kind of like public domain people. Public parties, that's what it's called. Magic find, looking for le leechers. Tier 16 magic find, no attack loot under... One Divine, I believe that means. Event board, I don't know if anyone makes use of this event board anymore. Oh, Waylon Roth is still is here. Dips, if it ain't me favorite landlubber. Talk about Helena Hello. and Lonnie. Oh, uh, yes, the they dips. have things to say about uh, Helena and Lonnie. Because Helena's here, too, as well. Pretty on the eyes, I reckon. But she's got her knickers pulled up far too high. Bit uptight, if you ask me. What Whalem's doing here? He's just ogling all the women. Nah, there's a woman. Let's talk about Lonnie. Her own. Oh, hey, look at her. A marvelous specimen of the female persuasion. I reminds me of Meredith, me long lost sweetheart. Oh, would it be that I could have a woman like that at my side once more? Someone to stare out over the bow into the salt spray of the sea. Oh, he's already said this before. Someone to warm the. Oh, what about Lonnie? What does she have to say about? I don't about? quite enjoy Waylam as much as I do his grand. Uh, same thing as she said in Act Ten. Life, perhaps Lily and I would have sailed the oceans together. I enjoy same her. Same thing as Act freedom. Ten. Helena, what do you have to say? Greetings. Katava's defeat. Sure. It's hard to believe it's been a full year since you slew Katava. Yeah, it has been a year. This place is almost starting to feel like home. I left behind a piece of my heart in Orioth. Even though I know we can never return there. Too many terrible things took place on that island. I think I agree with the popular sentiment that it was somehow cursed. Cursed? An island was cursed in some way? When I really think on it, Oriath's suffering was almost entirely the fault of its people. Not the common folk, mind you. The ones, the ones with, with the, the power. power. The Templars fostered a society in which monsters like Dominus and Piety could not only rise to power, but then wield that power to harm all of Rayclast. Enslaving the Karui directly led to the cult of Kitava unleashing mayhem. Yep. And of course, the tyranny of innocence stemmed from the blind, zealous faith they gave him. Then, there was the whole business with Cirrus. Cirrus? Who's that? That was the final nail in the coffin for Oriath. We might have been able to rebuild things after Kitava's rampage, if not for the surprise attack by Cirrus. Kirak was a lesser officer in the vanguard then. We had it. to work with exiles and radicals in strange exotic realms to try to control the situation. But Cyrus was far too dangerous to be contained. I'm not sure even you could have stopped him had you been there. I don't know exactly how they won the day, because Kirak never talks about it. But I do know a great many people died. Aww. Uh, one moment, everybody. Okay. Sorry for that moment. Thank you. Now these people, Helena. I can't help but feel a sense of hope that the people we have gathered are part of something greater. Oh, yeah. We're all utterly different, but something has brought us together, here and now. Alva, with her blood thaumaturgy. Tane, with his dark science. Tane. Einhar, with his natural wisdom. Nico, with his machinery skills. Jun, with her combat prowess. Kirak's leadership and your strength make me confident that we can handle whatever the future brings. Oh yeah, maybe we can. New role. Serving under Kirak in the Citizen Vanguard this past year has certainly been rewarding. This is a nobler cause by far than aiding the blackguards. Yeah. I don't know if Piety's That's atrocities can ever truly be made right, but I will keep trying until the day I die. Yeah. Until the day I die. I'll spill my heart for you. Hey, where are these guys going? Yeah, they're going up into that arena. Where there seems to be a map device. There's actually multiple map devices up there. We are the people's response to the madness of Rayclast. We've had enough of corruption, gods, and would-be dictators. The last year or so, the Citizen Vanguard has embarked upon a celestial war in secret uh -huh. in a realm called the Atlas. And we've the lost Atlas. many valiant men in battle. We need all the soldiers we can get. 
So it's time for you to put your strength and wits to good use. Yes, Keep the Atlas. That is part own. of that map device up there in that arena. Godslayer. Introduction to Kirk. Kirk's my name. Commander of the Citizen Vanguard. We're the front line ensuring callous gods and bloodthirsty fiends never blindside us again. The Templars kept the true nature of the world hidden from the populace. But now, the rowers out of the sack. And we'll keep both eyes open. Or, the one eye open, in my case. Because he has a eye patch on. Quite a bit has happened in the Atlas already. Suffice it to say, we have it on ominous authority that some unknown they are coming. Judging by the one who gave us that warning, all of Ray class would be in jeopardy should they take notice of us. It's best for everyone if we draw a hard line in the sand across the Atlas and keep them busy there instead. Hmm. Okay. The mystery of that. Families. These courageous men and women have families. That's the difference between them and a traditional military. Huh. No disrespect to my old comrades in arms, but this organization is not comprised of solitary, violent minded young men. Good. The Citizen Vanguard is a volunteer effort filled with the ranks of ordinary people who are tired of the endless parade of doom and nightmare we call Ray Class. Yeah, I'm sure people do get tired of it sooner or later. Together to face what's coming. And that's exactly what we're doing. Good, good. What about this Atlas? The Atlas is a grave threat to mankind. A realm unlike any we've seen. It offers up your wildest desires, urging you ever onward into madness and danger. And yet, really? it may be our greatest defense as well. The Atlas draws the attention of eldritch creatures that would otherwise destroy us without a second Ugh. thought. It's too dangerous to interact with, but too valuable to be left alone. You can see the position that leaves us in. We used to have the Atlas fully mapped. Really? But it changes. It changes. It grows. After recent major events, it completely changed form. Weird. We started from scratch at a moment we can ill afford to be blinded. The more you explore the Atlas, the better our chances of survival. Huh, all right. The map device. The map device will transport you to a land unlike any other. We call that land the Atlas. A formidable, uncharted territory which harbors the greatest dangers man has ah, ever the seen. Dangers. The device itself, or the devices, rather, since we've managed to acquire three. Oh, all right. A rather three long and storied history. As our resident archaeologist, Helena, might know more about that kind of thing. What of Arya? It's clear our little island is no place for men to live. Even cursed, one could say. Though we are not entirely blameless for those disasters, we thought Kitava's rampage was bad enough. Let alone the domination by the Templars and the crackdown under innocence. But Oriath was attacked yet again while oh, you were it? gone. The rebuilding efforts were all for nothing. The Vanguard undertook the largest evacuation in history. Hundreds of ships and Oriath has been abandoned. All right. No small irony that the Oriathan people yeah, is an depend irony. upon the Karui we once enslaved. I always said that if you kick a rower in the butt, one day, it'll kick you in the head. But I underestimated the honor of our new hosts. They're different after the death of their gods, and oh. we are too after the departure of ours. I wasn't a believer, but I can feel it. We're on our own. We're going to have to work together to face what comes next. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Your effects have had a many effect upon the world, Witchy. I once swore I'd never trust a blackguard in my life, reformed or not. I've had to begrudgingly rethink that notion. Helen has been crucial in putting together the pieces of Rayclaw's ominous and ancient history. Everything we face today has its roots in the evils of the past. Oh no, not the evils. Alpha. Those we can't convince to aid us out of common necessity are usually willing to offer equipment and services in exchange for gold. Alva is a continual source of ancient wealth. And I don't see the need to ask her where it comes from. <laughs> I have no moral qualms about using Tane's research. 
The fate of the world's on the line. We can't afford to get hung up on the use of torture and unnecessary surgeries and strange experiments. <clears throat> it's necessary. That's my stance. Really? Well, if we now were to explore the Atlas. The Atlas our oh. mission might make more sense. There's a whole uncharted realm out there. Countless regions just like the one you explored. Full of strange creatures and ancient threats. Nobody knows exactly what the Atlas is. But I can tell you my personal experience. Danger, death and loss. We've been doing our best to explore its deeper reaches. But too many good men have died. We're out of our depth. That's why All we right. need you. Keep exploring the Atlas. Look for anything we can use to defend Rayclast. Believe me, we're going to need it against the coming darkness. All right, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Uh, from Kurek, we can purchase things like a uh, compass, cartographer chisels, and maps, and orb of unmaking. The maps are the meat and potato of the Alice. Because if we were to say, never Mosh, let's go to the device. Down here in the in the arena, on the device, we can click on this to get a look at what the Atlas is. And because it's currently on, excuse me, because it's currently unexplored, it is basically empty. All we have here is our starting map device area with 115 areas to go to but we start with only four four maps that we should be able to access right away like the arena with the sound of a thousand calls for blood echoes for eternity the bone crypt the dead asks to be remembered but such requests are seldom met the burrows man burrows for only the internal have hibernation and the plateau, steep cliffs divide where the trees may grow and where they may not. And there's so many bloody things we can do here on this map. I will show you the map next time on Let's Play Path of Exile. I believe we will leave it here, but this has been a fine ending to the campaign, the act, Acts of Act 10. And I believe until next time... Where's the button? We will explore the Atlas. And the Lord's Labyrinth. We can still do another a Labyrinth. We can explore the Atlas of Worlds in search of power and information that might help the Citizen Vanguard defend Rayclass against the coming darkness. Plus, there's all these Masters and the... And the Rogues and the Expeditionists and the Archivists and the... So many things to do. And the Forbidden Sanctum and... Tana's laboratory, the mine, the menagerie, everywhere. We can go everywhere, do everything now. And now, until next time, I hope you had fun today. And take care of yourselves until next time. Have fun, everyone. Goodbye.